Hey guys, how's everybody doing? In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up a Ledger Nano S. I'm going to walk you through the entire process. I'm going to show you how to do so from start to finish. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to download the Ledger Live application, which allows you to visually see and manage your funds uh, and your cryptocurrencies. So for those of you who don't know, a hardware wallet is the best and safest way to store your cryptocurrencies since they give you full control over your private keys. When you store your cryptocurrencies on centralized exchanges such as Binance, BitMEX, Coinbase, etc., you are given permission for these centralized entities to have control over your private keys. And if something were to happen to those exchanges, then your funds will be at risk for being stolen. So it is absolutely crucial and essential that you invest in a hardware wallet and store most of your funds on those hardware wallets so that way you can protect yourself against being hacked. Exchanges have been hacked multiple times in the past. A few examples includes Mt. Gox in 2014 where $400 million of funds were stolen. Another example is just recently OKX had its security breached and they froze the withdrawal and deposit of funds and a lot of people that have their cryptocurrencies currently stored within those exchanges have no access to them. So again, it's absolutely essential that you get yourself a hardware wallet. So Ledger is not the only type of hardware wallet that you can get. There is also other brand names such as the Trezor hardware wallet and I'll be covering that in future videos. But for now, I'm just going to be covering the Ledger Nano S. So let's get started with the video. So when you open your box, you'll be getting one Nano Ledger S device. You'll be getting a USB port that connects your device over to your computer. And you'll also be getting a few of these sheets that's going to be needed to write down your 24 word recovery passphrase. This 24 word recovery passphrase is absolutely essential for you to write down. You're going to want to keep it somewhere in a secure place because if anything were to happen, if you were to lose these 24 words, then you will lose access to all your funds. This is going to allow you to restore your cryptocurrencies through any other hardware wallet, not just uh, this specific one. So if you were to lose this device and you were to keep these 24 words, then you can just buy a new Ledger Nano S and restore your funds through that, ne through that ledger. Just make sure that when you're writing down your 24 word recovery passphrase, you're using something permanent like a pen. Don't use pencil because it could smudge. So the first thing you're going to want to do is connect your device over to your computer and you're going to get this menu screen over here. From this menu screen, you're going to be using the top buttons to navigate between whether you want to go left or right. And you're going to want to scroll right until it says set up as new device. From here, you're going to press both buttons on top to confirm. And then once again, you're going to press both buttons to confirm once again. Now it's going to tell you to choose your pin code. From here, you have the option to choose between a four digit and an eight digit pin code. And for purposes only, I'm going to be pressing zero zero, zero, zero. And then once you have the option for this check mark, you can press both buttons again to confirm. Now it's going to tell you to validate your pin code once again, and you're going to press your pin code the same way you just did. So I'm going to press zero, 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 and then confirm. And then from here, it's going to tell you to write down your 24 word recovery passphrase. It's absolutely essential that you write down these words in order because in just a bit, it's going to tell you to confirm these words in the same way you just confirmed your pin code. So write down these words in order on the piece of paper that I showed you previously and make sure you write down each word correctly. Don't misspell anything as spelling matters. So for the first word, you're going to write receive. The second word, you're going to write patrol. The third word, you're going to write universe. And you're going to do that for each individual word for all 20 words. I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to be a time consuming. So I'll see you in just a bit. Once you have written down all 24 words and make sure that each beginning letter for each word is in lowercase. I made a mistake right over there and I put capital R, make sure it's lowercase. So don't make that mistake. So once you get, once you write down all 24 words, you're going to press write and then write once again. And then from here, it's going to tell you to confirm your recovery phrase. So you press both buttons on top and then it's going to say confirm word number one. So you go and re refer over to your sheet and you go to the first word that you've written down and you're going to navigate until you find the word receive. So my first word was receive. Your word is going to be different. Just make sure that you follow your words and not mine. So I'm going to navigate 
until I find the word receive, and then I'm going to press both buttons to confirm my first word. Next, it's going to tell me to confirm word two. So now my second word, as, I, as you see over here, is patrol. So I'm going to scroll over until I find the word patrol. And then I'm going to press both buttons to confirm. You're going to be doing this for all 24 words. This takes, again, a lot of time. So I'm going to do this off camera. And I'll see you once I confirmed all 24 words. From here, your device is now ready and you'll be able to press both buttons to enter the dashboard. Now, from here, we're going to go over to the Ledger Live application and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now that we set up our Nano Ledger S device and recorded our 24 word recovery passphrase, you can head over to the official Ledger website and download the Ledger Live application. One thing I need to emphasize is that please make sure that you're going to the official Ledger website because there's a lot of phishing going on right now. And if you input your information into these fake Ledger Live applications, you will have your funds stolen. So again, please go to the official Ledger website and go over to where it says downloads. You can scroll down just a little bit and you will get this green option, press download. And then from here, you will have the option to download uh, the Ledger Live application according to whatever kind of PC that you have. I have Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows application. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to open that right now. So once you have it downloaded, open your Ledger Live application and you can choose between whether you want it uh, light or dark or dusk. Uh, that's all up to you. So now once you continue, you will want to set up as a new device. You're going to click the device that you have. We have the lab Nano Ledger S, so I'm going to do that. And then from here, it's going to basically tell you all the things that we just went through. We already chose our pin, we already wrote down our recovery passphrase, and we already did all that. So we could just press continue. We could press continue over here. And now it's going to ask you if you chose your own pin. Click yes. Did you save your own recovery passphrase? Yes. Is your ledger genuine, the device genuine? Click check now. Once uh, the option on your Nano Ledger S device comes up to confirm whether your device is genuine. Click both buttons on top and it's going to check whether it's genuine or not. If it's genuine, then you'll have the option to continue. Press continue. From here, you'll have the option to make your own password. I'm just going to make a quick password. Press continue and continue once again. And now it says your device is ready and you can open the Ledger Live application. From here, you can read all this. Uh, it's basically going to tell you uh, the, the terms and conditions that you have to agree to, agree to them. And this is what the Ledger Live application looks like. So you're gonna head over to go to manager in order to start installing applications and storing cryptocurrencies on your device. So on your actual device, you will have the option that says install application. You're going to want to click install application and uh, press both buttons and once you do so you can have the ability to download any one of these applications over here so uh, bitcoin obviously is the most famous cryptocurrency so let's go ahead and install the bitcoin application and it's going to tell you to confirm whether you want to install it or not on the actual device it's going to say processing so just wait for it to process once it's fully installed, you'll have the Bitcoin application onto your Nano Ledger S and uh, you'll be able to actually store funds onto it. So now you can say manage my accounts. It's you, We just installed the Bitcoin application, so we'll go over to Bitcoin, continue. And now it's going to tell you to open the Bitcoin application on your actual device. So you're going to want to uh, follow the rules on your device, click both buttons and it's going to start loading on the Ledger Live application. Now it's synchronizing. And once it's synchronized, you'll be able to create accounts according to uh, your Bitcoin wallets. So you'll be able to, uh, so you'll choose whether you're using SegWit or native SegWit. Uh, I use native SegWit, so I'll add account. And now it's going to say account added successfully. You can add more accounts, but for now, let's just uh, continue with this portion. So now that you have your Bitcoin account, you can create 
different wallets for the same uh, type of cryptocurrency. So for example, if you want to store your uh, funds for somebody else on your wallet, which uh, shouldn't really happen because everybody should really stay, um, everyone should have their own nano ledger device to store their own cryptocurrency. But in the case that you have a spouse or whatever the case may be, or if you want to just store your own uh, funds on different wallets within the nano ledger S, you can do that as well. So here you can add a uh, an actual another account. So we'll do that just to show you. And it's going to go through the whole. It's going to go through the same process, but it's going to create a different account. So this is two different wallets. One will one wallet will have a different address, and you can receive cryptocurrency to this independent wallet. And it's going to tell you to confirm on your Nano Ledger S device. It's always going to tell you to confirm uh, on the actual device. So this is always going to be needed to uh, interact and deposit or send cryptocurrency. You actually have the device with you. So it's going to tell you to confirm the address. So here it shows the address on the Ledger device, and it's also going to show the address onto the on the ledger device itself so you're going to scroll through and make sure that the address on the nano ledger s device is the same on the ledger live application if it is you're going to press the approve option and you're going to press both buttons and you're going to approve it and now it says the address is shared securely and you'll be able to deposit cryptocurrencies to that address so that's how it works for the most part. I'm just, I'm just going to show you a rundown of the entire Ledger Live application so you're familiar with it. Here it shows your portfolio. Once you deposit cryptocurrencies, you'll be able to see how your portfolio is performing over time. Again, your accounts, uh, we only added Bitcoin, but you can add cryptocurrencies. You can add thousands of cryptocurrencies. There's a lot of cryptocurrencies supported by the Ledger. So uh, you can do that, Ethereum, Litecoin, etc. If you want to send cryptocurrency, you would go to the send option and you would choose the specific wallet that you want to send from. So if I wanted to send from this wallet, I would click this first and then hit send. And then if I wanted to do the same thing uh, for a different wallet, you can do the, uh, you would follow the same rules. Uh, for receiving cryptocurrency, it's the same way. You just go to the account and you uh, will be able to receive cryptocurrency according to which account that you clicked. So you, there's a new option that just got um, incorporated into the Ledger Live application. They're constantly updating it, but now you can actually purchase cryptocurrency directly from the Ledger Live application, which is not something you were able to do previously. And you're also able to swap cryptocurrencies for another without having to move your funds out of the Ledger to a centralized exchange and then back into the Ledger. You're gonna have to take into consideration the pros and cons of whether or not you want to uh, swap directly from the Ledger Live interface or do so by sending tr cryptocurrencies over to another exchange, swap it over there, and then send it back to the ledger. Uh, this is a little bit into specifics, so I'm not going to dive into that. And then finally, we're just going to go into the manager where we just were. And again, it's going to tell you to quit the application that you have on your ledger. You press quit, and you'll be able to store more applications on your ledger. So the Ledger Nano S has less storage than the Ledger Nano X. So I find that mostly you're only able to store three or four applications on your Nano Ledger device. So for example, here you'd see the free storage that I have. If I wanted to store, uh, if I wanted to download the Ethereum application, it's going to take up more storage. And then again, if I wanted to install XRP, it's going to take even more storage. Different applications take up different, uh, take up different storage. So just keep in mind that if you wanted to store a cryptocurrency that you don't have on the wallet already and you need to you need to install the application that you need, you would need to delete an application that you already have installed. So for example, if I have Bitcoin already stored in my Bitcoin wallet and I have the Bitcoin app applications installed already and I delete that Bitcoin application, I won't lose the Bitcoin that's stored in my wallet. So uh, just keep that in mind. You won't lose any of your Bitcoin if you dilute if you delete an application that's already there. If I have Ethereum stored in my Ethereum wallets and I delete the Ethereum application, it's the same case. I won't lose any of that Ethereum. All I would have to do is reinstall the application, and I would be able to access those funds once again. So that's the only anno annoying portion of having a Ledger Nano S is that the storage is limited. So that's why people upgrade to the to the Nano Ledger X. 
Uh, so that's pretty much it. If you guys found this video beneficial and you guys learned something, please make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button as I'll be coming out with more content like this soon. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.